Hello students, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher and here I have the summary of the story of my life and that is from chapter 14 to chapter 16. Fine. In the winter of 1892, an incident tortured Helen mentally when a book, The Frost King, which she wrote to send as a gift to Mr. Anagnos. Mr. Anagnos was delighted to receive the unexpected gift. He got it published in a report of the Perkins Institute. As the story of the same kind had appeared in a book, Birdie and His Friends, under the title The Frost Fairies, written by Miss Margaret Camby, Helen was accused of plagiarism. This shocked Helen and she felt disgraced. She tried her best to recall if she had ever heard that story, but she couldn't. Mr. Anagnos felt cheated. He did not listen to her and concluded that Miss Sullivan and Helen had stolen Miss Candy's story and had done so to win his favor. Helen was questioned by a court of investigation and was cross-examined. Helen firmly denied the charges. She wept bitterly that night and even thought of committing suicide. But slowly and gradually she recovered from that wound. When a teacher asked her questions related to the Frost King, she felt that Miss Sullivan might have told her such a story, which had such elements. After this sad incident, Helen went to attend Washington's birthday celebration. After this sad incident, many people wrote letters of love and sympathy to her. Miss Camby also wrote to her and wished her great success as a famous writer someday. Helen did not write her anything new for a long time. Later she came to know that she had actually heard Miss Camby's story because she used other ideas and sentences in some of her letters. The reality was that she had absorbed the story so much that with the passage of time she would use its ideas and language considering them as her own. She quoted the view of famous English essayist and novelist R. L. Stevenson, who held that a young writer instinctively tries to copy what he likes. After a long practice and experience only, he or she is able to express his or her own ideas in their own language. Helen accepted that she had not come to that mark until then, but refusing to accept defeat, she firmly believed that if others had succeeded before her, she would also succeed. She began to understand the complexities involved in writing, but she lost a good friend, Mr. Anagnos, who had voted in her favor, believing that Helen and Miss Sullivan were innocent, but later changed his mind. Helen wrote about the Frost King case because she felt it was important for her career prospects. She did not defend herself nor blame anyone. Helen had a time the next summer and winter with a family in Alabama. Such a change made her forget the controversy over the Frost King. She was scared that people would discover that the ideas were not her own. Miss Sullivan came to her help and encouraged her to write the story of her own life as an assignment. At that time, Helen was 12 years old and used to write for a magazine called Youth's Companion. She visited President Cleveland's inauguration ceremony. She went to Niagara Falls and the World Fair in 1893. Although she couldn't see the falls, she said that their power had a big impact on her. Helen felt that beauty and music were like goodness and love to her. By the time Helen turned 13, she had learned to fingerspell and read in raised print and braille. She could not only speak in English, but also a little of French. She began her formal schooling and preparation for college by taking Latin and math lessons. She initially liked maths more, but later began to love Latin too. Her teacher, Miss Sullivan, took care of her interest and taught her what she liked. When preparing for college, Helen worked systematically, but often things that she did 
did not satisfy her immediately, but she was determined to get formal education. So here I come to the end of the summary and I hope students you understood what I gave here. So if you have subscribed to my channel first class, if you haven't I suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that in future you get more and more from me. Thank you.